I like working with my hands quite a lot and it's very practical and you kind of understand more of the theory behind it when you actually sit down and do the work. At first I thought I would just be sitting there, you know, creating a few teeth, making a denture, but it turns out there's so much more you can do. So there's been a few surprises. I get to play with flames every day. Basically I chose dental technology because I like the idea of helping people, but then also the problem solving aspect of it, like finding a solution to a particular person's problem. It's not as straightforward as just dentures and a few teeth. There's a lot of different things to do. The most enjoyable aspect for me, I think, is Crown and Bridge and actually getting to make something that is natural, however, is prosthetic at the same time. We do have a little bit of theory, but it's not like you're sitting there in front of a, a computer screen all day. You're actually, you're actually doing what your degree is, which is cool. The tutors and the teaching staff actually teach you everything you need to know and how you have to work with your equipment when you actually do get selected into the course. We work with dentists and other specialists to create the things we do, so you learn to communicate with other people and you learn to work well as a team. If you're really interested, go and find a lab in your hometown. There are, there are actually a lot out there. I had no idea that dental technology existed when I was at high school. So look in the yellow pages, go and find somewhere and just go and see what they do. And that would really be able to give you an insight of what you're doing. The industry is growing, so some labs are expanding. At the moment they're expanding up in the North Island. So there are good job opportunities, you just have to search for them. They don't necessarily come to you. I love teeth. I just, it's my life and I guess it's my place in the world. <laughs>